Hey y'all, I cannot believe where I'm coming from today. Today I'm coming from Lingenfelter Performance. You know, they do the Corvettes, they do a lot of stuff, they do GM. My buddy John Jennings set all this up and told me that, hey, I got you in with Lingenfelter, you're gonna be able to do a tour of this and that. Now usually I do these intros before I did the tour, but I didn't know what was gonna happen. I'm not sure how I'm gonna lay these videos out, but man, what a cool place, cool people. You know, you, you know, you know the name, so you think they're huge, and they are. They're a top-rate shop, they're a top-notch operation, but yet they're just down-to-earth, kind of a family operation, you know what I'm saying? Just very cool stuff I got here today. So, anyways, I hope you enjoy it. I'm not sure how I'm gonna put it together, but I'm just so stoked. I'm so juiced because I just walked out of this place. just got done with it, and they just treated me like a king. So, man, again, fellows at Lingenfelder, thank you so much. Ken Lingenfelder, thanks so much for allowing me to come in here. You guys have just been awesome hosts. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Folks, I hope you enjoy what I got from here. Jeff, how are you, brother? Good. How are you, Scotty? Not too bad. Tell me, uh, tell me a little bit about this Cadillac. Uh, it's our CTSV Coupe 700 plus package, cylinder heads, cam, supercharger upgrades, injectors, calibration. I think about 720, 730 at the flywheel, around, uh, roughly around 600 or so at the tires, 620 maybe. What, did they, what do they come from the factory? At the tires, they, get, they make about 500 at the tires, depending if it's a manual or an automatic. And uh, they're rated at 556. We typically see them just a little stronger than that. I gotcha. Tell me, uh, you said that you do you do a little bit of internal work on these, and then do you replace the supercharger, or you just typically with it the, up? with this package, what we do is we bring it in, we baseline chassis dyno test it, pull the engine, uh, pop the heads off of it. Uh, go through CNC the cylinder heads, upgraded springs, retainers, locks, uh, new cam shaft, uh, check everything out, make sure everything is just as intended, um, put a new cam in, uh, put everything back together. We overdrive the supercharger by roughly 31% on this uh, particular package, and uh, that's, what get, that's really our recipe to get 700 plus. What does something like that cost to do? This one's eleven two forty five, eleven thousand two hundred forty five dollars, and um, that's A to Z. You can buy this out the door for roughly around six thousand bucks. And do it yourself. I mean, that's if you send us the heads and so forth. Right. But we can offer it, you know, out the door or turnkey, however you like. Turnkey, we're looking at the Cadillac, and I send eleven grand, eleven five, something like that, and I get back. Absolutely. Absolutely. What kind? Do they come with some kind of warranty after you do this? We uh, we put a two-year, twenty-four thousand mile warranty on this particular package, and that covers the engine. The rest of the powertrain, um, you know, is kind of up in the air, but nonetheless, they, they hold the power. They're capable of holding that kind of power. I got you. So you all have done some testing to know that, oh, yeah. you know, I mean, you're not going to have yeah. to, you're not going to blow your transmission up the first time you nail it. We get it. our hands on our own, and we beat the daylights out of it and see what fails first. That's cool. And you know, I've been talking to you all day, and one of the things that amazed me, I think a lot of the general public thinks that General Motors sends you this stuff. No, no, these are all uh, owned customer cars, or Ken, our owner, will buy a car and let us be... To do R&D, that's what Absolutely. he has to do. You all go down and you yep. got a friend at a Chevrolet dealership, probably no one owner, yep. but you buy and retail just like everybody else yes, does. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's amazing. How long have you all been in business? Uh, we're celebrating our 40th anniversary since 1973, uh, when John started and planted the seed for this company, and uh, really blessed to be around this long. Cool. And why is it... So much that you're that you're uh, notorious for working with General Motors. Is there a problem with working with? I seen a. Now I did see a, a Hemi sitting out there, so I know you got that. But I don't see a lot of Fords coming through here. Do you work on Fords? Uh, we don't really work on Fords. It's kind of it's kind of back to the philosophy. You can be at the absolute best at one thing, or kind of good at a lot of things. And we take the philosophy. We want to be the absolute best with the late model GM vehicle. The LS series, uh, you know, offers many different vehicle ranges, trucks. Um, that carry over to each vehicle. So there's a lot of opportunity for a lot of business. Um, we have taken on some Dodge business. We've done some V10 Vipers. We've done some Challengers, you know, um, and so forth. But GM has really got the biggest carryover and really provides us the opportunity of more customers. Yeah, and you know what, and I can appreciate that because you're right, a lot of people would pursue all the manufacturers, that's a bigger marketing base and blah, blah, blah. But again, it's about the quality, getting to know what you're working yeah. with and sticking to that. Right. And I guess at some point, John had to be a, had to be a fan of General Motors too. Yeah, he, um, he, he had uh, an Oldsmobile Dragster that was just a feared engine on the track. And um, 
John, you know, has been around GM a lot, I mean, for a many number of years. And, um, you know, the Corvette, he was, he liked the Corvette. And, you know, 85, he had a TPI Corvette, and that's really what started the, the, the fuel injection stuff that's carried us over to what we are today. Right. And you're notorious for putting superchargers on it, but you'll also turbocharge a car. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we, uh, back in 98, we started the turbocharger for the C5, uh, turbocharger systems. And uh, the turbochargers, you know, just have a different characteristic of power, different linear power curve than the superchargers. Uh, nowadays, with the new superchargers, just the bang for buck factor is with them because they're bigger, they'll fit under the hood. Um, it, it just makes it, you know, it's an economical horsepower increase versus the turbocharger. I got you. Well, sweet. I'm going to take a walk around this one just because I love that car. Hey, but help yourself. Let me tell you, I, brother, I appreciate you all so much letting me come out here and do this. Hey, we're glad to have you down anytime. Thank you. And if, if so, you all got a website, right? Was it Lingenfilter.com? Lingenfilter.com. Cool. All right. And it's not a uh, uppity kind of place. No, no, Call, no, sir. ask for Jeff. He'll be glad to talk <laughs> to you on the phone. Thanks. Thanks, <laughs> Jeff. Yeah, I'm going to take a walk around this caddy, though. Yes, sir. How about that? You like them from the factory, right, guys? Sure, you like it adding 100 horse to it. Does it sound any different now? Oh, yeah. Really? Can we hear it? to California and or any, anywhere you like and have that kind of power on tap. Well, I think that it's kind of it's kind of cool that you all uh, do what you do and you can still get a warranty on it. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? That's standing behind your work. And hey, if it, nothing happens in two years, 24,000 miles, your part was right. Oh, yeah. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? And you also, before I leave, you also do body kits and stuff too, right? Yes, sir. We offer uh, uh, Camaro body kits or C6 body kits. Um, that's primarily what we've been working on. We're predominantly an engine shop. We don't. We like to work with different people on our designs to create our body systems, but typically it, we're an engine shop for the most part. I got you. Well, brother, you all keep up the good work. Thanks, Again, thanks, thanks so much for letting me come out. Come back anytime. Great. Folks, there you go. That's a little uh, car on the way out the door, CTSV Cadillac from Lingenfelter uh, Performance. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See you. Backstage at Lingenfelter. You ever wonder what sits around in this parking lot? I do. I mean, they got Z06 vets sitting around here like, oh, I'd say they're candy, but that's not, oh, look at this thing, man. That's a Grand Sport, that looks good, though. All except for the broken piece, I guess that's why that's in here. Because they do body kits, too. We'll get down there to that Camaro, it's got a body kit on it. And like I said, they invited me in to, to tour, the, tour the facility. And I'll just be honest with you guys, you know, machine shops and, and that kind of stuff isn't gonna make all that interesting a video. And to really explain all that's going on, to be honest with you, it's over my head. It's the old ones. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. There's gotta, there's gotta be 10 Z01s just sitting back here. And you know what amazes me about that? You know, the Z06 and the Z01s is that this is General Motors' attempt at their performance car. I know they got to make them street cars, and these guys are just wanting a little bit more. But uh, you just think that would be enough. Cadillac, let's go look at that. What a cool place, though, and I'm telling you, these, these guys are just, 
you know, I, I get the impression before I showed up here, I got the impression, of course it's Lingenfelter, man. It's gonna be like this holy grail, big monstrous place. And uh, you know what? They're just normal guys with a passion for uh, making cars handle well and go fast. And then, like on this Camaro, they got the body kit on there. And they make another body kit, or they did the body kit different. I don't see one of those, but they make one that I think, that's cool, but they make one that's a little bit cooler than that. Another ZL1. Sitting in here, STS, CTS V Cadillac wagon. That'd be cool to have, right? Chase hot rods in that. I could catch some then. Now there's the L1. They do the SUVs. That's an Escalade. They said they took that one to the drag strip. That's like 700 horse in that Escalade. And then you don't see very many of these. A Challenger, a Lincolnfelder Challenger. Another Cadillac. Look at that, GTO. Anyways, I thought y'all would uh, enjoy just a quick tour of the boneyard out here at Langenfelter.